Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you had a fabulous Christmas break, uh, holiday season. I uh, hope you got everything you wanted for Christmas. So anyway, where we last left off, we had a bot that would respond pong when we said ping. And in this tutorial, we're going to be setting up a simple command system that we'll be able to use in the future to make more advanced commands. And it'll take care of a lot of things like splitting up the arguments. So like if you say um, roll dice 36 sided and we want to roll three of them and we're going to roll them two times. It'll split up all these arguments so that way you don't have to do that work. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and just before we get started we can uh, let me show you how to run the bot using the command prompt outside of Visual Studio. So on Mac or Linux it might be a little different and I can't tell you exactly how to do it on there because I'm on Windows but on Windows if you hold the Windows key and hit R this little thing will pop up and if you type CMD click OK it'll open the command prompt. From here what you need to do is uh, go into the directory where your uh, bot is. So right now it's in this directory and on here you can see my code is in this directory. So first we need to switch drives. I'm in drive C and this is in drive D. Your code is probably in drive C so you might you can skip this step but to switch drives you just type that and then I can just CD and then lang is the next folder and then CD quote is the last folder and now I'm in the correct folder and if you type dir it'll list out um, all the files in that folder. So now we can run the bot and open up Discord. And as you can see, quote is running. And if you say ping, it responds with pong. So that's how you run the bot from the command line. And if you hit control C, it'll close the bot and we can make our changes. So the first thing we are going to want to do is um, use the the com the library is called discord.js commando. So the first thing we want to do is download it. So go back to command prompt, type npm install discord.js dash commando and then dash dash save. And that's going to run and that will download it and install it into this project. And so now when we come back to the code, um, we're going to change this up a little bit. So here we're creating a variable called bot, which is a new Discord client. And instead of that, we're going to create a new commando client. So we can delete this line. Um, we'll delete it in a second. But what we're going to use now is const commando equals require discord.js commando. So this is the library we just installed and now it's in commando. And so commando also has a client that we can create a new instance of. So you can say new commando dot client. And the commando client is basically a discord client, but it has some nice extra features that we can use to um, set up commands a lot easier. So the first thing we need to do with our new commando client is register um, a group of commands. Every command you create needs to be in a group. So just for the sake of example, I'm going to register a random group. Register group random random. It's not random as in the command will change every time, but it'll it'll be like a random number generator or like a dice roll could be in this group. And so we're basically going to be creating each command in a separate file, in a separate JavaScript file. And so in order to tell the commando client to load these files, we call bot.registry.register commands in. And then we're going to say dir name, which is the name of the current directory, plus slash commands. So basically, we're going to create a folder called commands. Let's do that now. New folder, commands. You can do this in here or just in, in the file system. You know, go to the right folder, 
create a new folder and call it commands. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to put all of our commands in this folder. And um, one important thing that th the way Discord JS Commando works now is each command needs to be in a folder named after the group it's in. So we need to create a new folder called random. And then each command in the random group will be in its own file under the random folder. So one more thing we can do before we register commands in, we can say bot.registry.register defaults. And what that does is registers a few default commands like a help command, and then the bot will automatically message you with all the commands that it has. And if you're the admin, um, then you can disable commands or reload commands and stuff like that. And that's all set up by default with that line of code. So now the last thing we need to do is go under the random folder and create our command. So just create a new file, you can just call it dice roll.js. And then we can start writing our code. So first we need to load in commando again, discord.js.commando dash commando. And then we're gonna create a class. And this class will be for our dice roll. And we call it dice roll command. And it extends commando.command. So commando, the library commando, has a client inside it, as you can see here, and it also has a command inside it. And we're taking a command and we're extending it or adding extra functionality to it, basically telling it what the command will do, and we're calling it dice roll command. And it's fine if you don't understand classes or anything JavaScript. Um, if you want to, you can read up on it and learn about it, but it's not really necessary. Um, you can pretty much just copy and paste the structure and you'll be fine. One important thing you need to remember to do at the bottom of the file is say module.exports equals, and then whatever the name of the class is, so dice roll command. And that'll make sure that this um, command is exported and the, the bot will import it properly. <clears throat> so inside the command, we need to do two things, a constructor and a run function. So the constructor is called when the command is constructed, which means once at the beginning of basically when the bot starts or when the bot is reload or when the command is reloaded. And when the command is loaded, it is passed in a client value. And you need to call super, which super um, basically tells the command, hey, we are being created. And we're gonna pass in the client, as well as a bunch of information about the specific command that we're making. And so to pass a group of commands we're gonna use, or group of values, we're gonna use an object. Um, again, the specifics of these, if you're not familiar with it, it's not super important. You can just type exactly what I type and you should be good. Um, so here's what, how we define the, the um, settings or basically the documentation for this command. The name is role. The group that it belongs to is random because it's in the random folder. And if we go back here, um, this is the group we created for it. The member name is basically the same as the name. It's just role. Then description rolls a die. Cool. So now let's come down. That's pretty much it uh, for for the constructor. You, there are other things you can add, like examples. Um, role. So that's an example of how you'd call the command. But that's not really necessary for this because it's a pretty simple command. So now we're come down to run and run is this code is called every single time someone activates the command. So if I call roll, then this, this code will be run. Oops. And this code is passed two values, the message, which is the entire message and well details about the message and also args, which is the, um, it, it depends on how you set up the command up here, but it can either be all of the arguments 
together, or if you configure it to accept arguments up here, then it'll pass them individually in an array so you can access each one. And we'll get into that more in future tutorials, but we don't need to worry about the arguments for now. So here we basically just, you know, roll a die and then tell the respond in the chat what the die was rolled. So um, I'm just going to do a little bit of math here. It's not really that mathy, but um, math.floor, math.random times six plus one. So this rolls a six sided die and then roll will have the value of the roll. So then we can say message.reply, you rolled a, and then we'll add the value of the roll to that. So then it'll reply to the chat with the roll. If you want a brief explanation of how this works, math.random is a function that will return a random number between zero and one. So it could be zero, it could be 0 0.569, anything in between there. Um, well, anything between zero and 0 0.999999, it will never be one. So then we multiply that by six. So that means that after we get the random number and multiply it by six, it's a random number between zero and zero point, or excuse me, 5.999999. Then we do a floor operation, which if you've done math, you know what that is, but it basically cuts off the decimal. So that leaves us with a number between zero and five. And then we add one. So if the number was zero, it becomes one. And if the number was five, it becomes six. So basically we now have a number between one and six that was randomly generated. <clears throat> if you didn't understand that, don't worry, it's not a big deal. But we have a function that rolls a dice. So now we can go back to our command prompt, type node period to run it. And it is giving us an error. And that is because right here we have this command or this uh, keyword async. And that is a very new feature of JavaScript that will not work in any browser. But luckily for us, Node supports some new features that browsers do not support. So if you type harmony, dash dash harmony, then that will enable those extra features. Harmony is the code name for the, the update. There we go, you gotta put the harmony before the, the period. So this is the command you need to run. Or right there. All right, so now let's go to Discord. And um, we took out the ping, but we type roll. You rolled a five. You rolled a three. You rolled a two. You rolled a one. All right, cool. So every time you type roll, it'll give you a random dice roll. It's pretty straightforward. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Now that we have this set up, uh, we'll be able to create groups of functions. I'll probably be making longer videos in the future. Um, not terribly long, but just to maybe a video for each kind of group of commands. So a video for um, admin commands like kicking, banning, assigning permissions. A video, I don't know, maybe for, for dice rolls, different kind of dice rolls and combining more complicated arguments like rolling a 32 sided dice four times whatever i don't know there's a bu there's a bunch of things i can do a, a video for music bot of course that might take two or three videos depending on how complicated we get but so anyways if that sounds interesting to you feel free to subscribe so you are notified when i release a new video and um, if this was helpful please leave a like and if you have any questions then just leave them in the comments below if you want to post your code um, you can post it on gist.github.com and just paste your code here and then paste a link in the chat. If you have multiple files, you can click add file and then type the file name here. So like if it's index.js, this is index.js and then you paste the code for index.js here and same for all your other files. Um, <clears throat> and then create a secret or public and then just copy this link and I'll do my best to help you. Also, if you want help as quickly as possible, um, it's super helpful for you to say, hey, I'm getting this error, or I'm running my bot and it's not connecting, or I run my bot and it connects and this command works, but this command doesn't. 
Uh, if you're as specific as possible, then um, I or someone else in the comments will be able to help you much quicker. All right. Thanks for watching.